Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel for another fabulous build. Today I'm going to be building with the brand new Riviera Retreat Kit. Huge shout out to the EA Creator Network for giving me this opportunity. They did not pay me for this. They did send me the pack though. And we are going to be doing some honest feedback and seeing what we can really achieve with this brand new kit. Alright party people, so we have the new kit installed and you know there's only one way to truly put this pack to the test. And that is going to be by seeing if we can achieve a beautiful build with just the base game and the kit. This is definitely giving Oasis Spring vibes, just what I've seen in the content images. So I want to try to build it somewhere in here, probably in one of these neighborhoods. I think this will be a good little lot to start with. It's got good lighting, Don Lothario's your neighbor, there's a pond, what's not to love? I'm not 100% sure what I want to build, but I am thinking... Something semi like ranch style, um, and I can tell you right off the bat, I cannot handle medium wall height today. I've had a hard day. I had to run errands, and my mom was working while I was running those errands, so I couldn't even talk to her on the phone. Uh, I, I'm not going to be able to emotionally handle not being able to, uh, or having to use tall wall height. Not at all. I'm thinking one story because I think I'm being a little bit lazy. But maybe, maybe two is good, because I also definitely want, like, some balcony action. And I'm thinking we could do two over here, and that's, like, a real nice size house, but we shall see. Just for shits and giggles, I'm going to try to do this, like, little wraparound porch moment, but I don't know if it's really going to work. We are going to try, though. Ugh. I have a vision, I promise, I promise. Let's just, like, get some of the bones in place that we're going to need. Because I do have quite the vision for this one, even though I'm not sure. The vision's coming. It's coming. You know what this house needs? A fucking chimney. A chimney is going to solve all my problems, both physically and psychologically. I promise. And then we're going to need like a little, yeah. Definitely going to need one of these. Do you think we need dormers? Can't believe I'm saying this, but I think the chimney might be a mistake on this one. Let's get rid of it, because I changed the roof a little bit. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, but these arches are ha, beautiful, and I'm going to use them absolutely everywhere. Do we like them in this color is the million dollar question. Ooh. These come in some really nice colors. I am a big fan of the stone. Maybe I like this kind of sandy color. Cause that is pretty hmm let's try that and I'm gonna definitely add more here I was gonna make this like an extension of the actual house but I kind of think it would be really fun to do like kind of a porch moment if you will I don't even know if that makes sense but we're gonna go for it let me make sure they're in the right color though kind of overlap them a little bit thank god for move objects at this point and then it's like a little sunroom almost, if you will. The lighting might look a little weird inside, but we will get to that. We got a wallpaper too. Excuse me. What is this? Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh, wait, am I going to use this? Let me see if I like this. And if I do, we might just put this literally all over the house to be determined though and I want to do the roof really quickly because I think that'll help kind of tie some of this together for the time being something about this I don't like and I think I just need to like lower it maybe mm, I don't know I don't know something about that that I'm not a huge fan of and then let's just load this puppy up with detail this might come as no shock to you guys, but these windows are absolutely screaming at me to be used. Um, these are some of my favorite windows in the game. I just never really use them because I am a light, bright, airy girly, not a dark wood kind of gal. All the half walls I'm trying are looking kind of ugly, so what if we did, like, these instead of a regular railing? Is that too tall, though? What if we did, like, a short half wall? Yeah, I think I like that better. And then it's going to look like continuous all the way up for the balconies. Hmm. Let us see. Let us see. Let's paint that really quick. Paint the inside. I always forget to paint the inside. Okay. I think I like that for right now. Maybe. 
I think I finally got the floor plan done. Not super confident, but still we're trying our very best. I don't know. Do like a little door to the balcony out here. It doesn't really matter because you're not going to see it, but it does matter to me if it's fugly, which it might be. Have like a little bathroom right here. I do like these windows I'm using, but we shall see. We shall see. Now for our real moment, we're going to need a pool ASAP. I feel like this might not be big enough though. Hmm. I wanted to put it on a foundation, but now I'm not sure. Maybe it would look better if we didn't do that. And we, cause I want like a huge pool, something like this. And then I'm going to do like little decorations obviously because that's going to make it fancy perfection oh my god there's a big bug in my office oh my god there's a huge wasp in my office and i literally don't know what to do i am just a girl oh my god i don't want it to die but i don't want it to be near me the tile that came with this pack is so stinking beautiful holy goodness oh Oh, the tile game with The Sims lately has been just so freak. Oh, I am obsessed with this. Wait a minute. Okay, I kind of want to use this one for right now. Oh my god, wait a minute. This is just so beautiful. Do I use it everywhere? And then what do I use the rest of the area? Because I was like, gonna use a stone everywhere, but I don't think that makes sense. Maybe this needs to be up one. I think that's the only way it's really going to make the most sense, which means I have to do that everywhere. Ugh. I'm quickly just in the live edit menu to do a little bit of landscaping. I'm not exactly sure how I want it to look yet, but I know I'm going to need some palm trees, and the deeper ones are excellent. I have been so excited to use these little, like, pebble path thing. And I heard like very mixed reviews on them, but I personally think they're like a fun little asset. Ooh, the question is how am I going to get them to fit? I guess I could just do like straight like that, but hmm, do I like that? Because they're not fitting perfectly and they're kind of like overlapping. I guess I could do like maybe curve them a little bit. Don't mind these. I just pulled them out of debug so I could like use them later. I could do something kind of rounded like that, which I guess is fine. And then just put like a plant here to kind of cover how weird that looks. But that could be good. I don't know, I don't know. This is not my style, guys. It really isn't. I'm trying my hardest. Definitely gonna have to use this thing. The question is how do I want to use it? I haven't decided quite yet. Hmm. I do like the idea of this, and I like that there's ivy swatches as well as red. The red matches really good, but I like the ivy a lot, so... Hmm. We could go black, but I like this. I'm gonna keep this for a second and just kind of see how I'm feeling. I don't know. I will say, like, looking at all the overall assets, this is a very small kit, but also I think that's the point of kits, which is like, err, debatable, debatable, but these are very layerable, and I think I like that about them, and I believe they're supposed to be, like, fountains and stuff, too. Like, this thing, this is cool. This I can get behind, I kind of like the big, like, rock feature. Thing, and I was worried I wouldn't be able to make them work because I just like don't have an eye for certain things like this. Terrain paint makes everything better. Oops, just kidding. There we go. Just a little bit of that. Oh, so nice. On to the interior, at least for now, because I need a break from the outside. I'm feeling a tad overwhelmed. I think I want to center the living room around a fireplace, but I don't know if my windows are going to fit if I do that. Tisk tisk. I also don't love this fireplace, but hmm, we shall see. Actually, I just decided I hate that. Disgusting. Just a good old-fashioned base game house. This is very out. 
outdoors looking, but it is so pretty. I'm just going to throw one of these out here for now, and then we need to focus on the inside. Like, one thing at a time, girlfriend. Ugh, I get so distracted. Do one of these. We'll do, like, a big TV. We'll size it up so we're fancy. Just doing all the classic stuff in terms of this house. Maybe some darker wood, though. That's pretty. And we need a rug to anchor everything down. This is cute, and I never use it. What colors do you come in? The green, ooh, that's pretty. I actually kind of like that. And I, it's different for me because I never use it. That could be fun. Get a little reading nook over here. And honestly, I'm not gonna focus too hard on this room. I do, however, wanna use these new curtains that we have. These are very, ooh, these are very nice. Hmm, if I could get them to slot the right way, that would be so awesome. All right, now we're cooking with gas, team. I love these, actually. I think the little plum bob detail is so freaking cute. Like, okay, girl, purr. This is definitely more of an outdoor pack, but I feel like we could get away with using this bush tree. Is that a lemon tree? Are those lemons? Kind of look like potatoes, and the tree is a little bit of a weird size. I'm not keeping these doors either because they're gross. Let's change those to these. These are good. Maybe we'll just do one. Oops. That's not the best thing I could have done, but it's not horrible, I guess. This house is looking a little fugly, so I definitely need to put plants everywhere in hopes that I can fix it. Not feeling super hopeful, though. Let's get some decor. I'm thinking we get into the kitchen now in hopes we can try to salvage this because it is a tad ugly. Ooh. Not feeling the most confident of my life, though. Just throwing that out there, chat. Just so everyone knows. Ooh. Not very cute in this hoe. Not at all. Maybe we can fix it, though. You know, I never used this thing, and this could be really fun with some cabinets because I ended up sizing up or putting everything on like a one tile high platform. So there's not a ton, we can't do a ton of cabinets, that's my point, because it's short wall height. Maybe we'll just leave it open. That could be fun though, it's, it's different for me, I don't know. I was thinking about a big bar, t or a big table, but now I'm thinking what if we get like a little bar? kind of moment that could be fun and I feel like this house kind of fits the vibes I also could have made that up but let's see and I know we have new chairs we're definitely using these new chairs even on the inside that's the challenge with this pack is there's a, a lot of this is very outside and it's very obviously for the outside but this could be fun we can do like I never use bars and then I could just put this door to the bathroom over here and perfection. Let's see what kind of wall decor we have. This is so beautiful and fun and it might be kind of ugly but if we put enough plants around everywhere it won't matter if it's ugly because you'll just be looking at the plants and how beautiful you think it is. Let's get some bar stools going. Let's do these. These are fun. I kind of like they kind of match the vibe. This now does not make any sense where it's at but whatever I could also turn it if I no just kidding that's disgusting let's try and just do a couple more details starting on the bedrooms and the million dollar question is do we want to make this a guest house like a vacation home or do we want to make this a family home and I can't quite decide part of me thinks vacation home makes the most sense um, but, I don't know. For those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, you know what a slut I am for wall sconces, and I am about to put the ones that came with this kit all over this house. I'm not sure if this mirror is even usable over here, and I do know if I don't find a matching wood swatch, I am going to freak out. Ooh, I guess that's close. I don't know. I don't know. We need some art or something. I'm, uh, this, is, this is disgusting. Adding plants makes things less ugly. Don't come for me, it's just the truth. The way that this room is set up and where all the doors are, it is just so awkward, so 
I am going to make this like a little vacation home and just add in like fun skill building items in here maybe. Like I think an easel will fit smashingly in this house because God knows nothing else is going to fit and um, yeah that's, that's really it. That's totally my bad, my floor plan. I just struggled with the floor plan for this thing so long. Is this little thing practical? No. Do I like the vibes? Yeah. So, we're just going with it. This is an artist's room. I don't even know if you can actually walk to the bathroom at this point, because how I set everything up and I don't care. We're just going to tie it all in together with a rug. Wow. Some of my best work, truly. Let's get some curtains now. I might just do blinds up here because it's already very... Ooh, no. Those are fugly. Ooh. No wonder no one uses those. Ugh. I'm feeling very judgmental right now, and I don't even care. We're just going to use the same ones from the pack because they're everywhere in this house. Again, with this bedroom, like, where do I put anything? Because everything is kind of squished. I wanted to do a desk here, but it's going to be the only place we can put a bed. Maybe I'll do, like, bunk beds. That could be fun. Fun and brown. I it's very brown in this house, and you guys know I'm not really a brown girly. Let's definitely get a desk with a computer so it's more practical. We love practicality. We are practical queens in this day and age. We get like a nice computer because no budget, no problem. And let's do one of these fun chairs. Fuck it, because we're trying to use the pack as much as we can. Mm, do like that one. That one's nice. I want to put some stuff for like kiddos to do, but it is so tight in here. Like they get no nightstand. They're gonna just have to be happy campers with this and like some wall decor because the way I set this layout up, up with, it's just like, it is not good. Not at all. Hmm. Let's do like, maybe like that. that that's perfect. This thing is very artistic and beautiful play maybe a, a, a runner so we can just finish up the last little bits on the inside that looks perfect back to the outside and I want to start with this balcony over here because I think this balcony is ooh actually hold on I'm I, I get sidetracked you're watching it happen in real time we're definitely gonna need some fun little loungers oh these are cute I when I first saw them I thought the shapes were a little weird, and I do still stand by that, but the way they look is so pretty. Maybe we'll do like a, ooh, oh yeah, these are very pretty. They're still weird shapes, but I still fuck with them. And then let's go ahead, and we're definitely going to put a freaking thingy out. Sorry, fire pit lost my train of thought that is a thousand percent my bad and then let's get some chairs to go around it where are the new chairs here are the new chairs kind of like the idea of doing like a more neutral maybe we could do this one and just go like four around it so it's nice and maybe I'll even Does that make sense to do like that under here? I guess that's okay. And then over here we can do like a, a grill area. I want to do the pink table so bad because you guys know I'm still firmly in my pink era. But maybe we'll do the red because it kind of matches everything a little bit better. Let's go check out the chairs. Yeah, I can live with that. It matches the tiles. Not like I couldn't change them, but let's go ahead and get a fun little pookie-esque grill. That is lovely. So beautiful. This pack does not come... Oh! I lied. I'm a liar. You were about to see me real-time tell a fib. But it does come with some loungers. I was like, it's so weird. This pack doesn't come with any loungers. I am just a liar, apparently. Maybe we could do, like, quite a few. This could be nice. And do, like, two on two. Maybe. So it's like... This is just like the place to vibe. Are there any little tables? I think there are. I thought I saw something like that. Yep, right here. Let's do one. Yeah. They seem a little far away though. Definitely gonna do this. So we can get some like towels and clutter. 
gonna add some towels up here to make it look very like clutterful and we'll keep sizing them up these are actually base game and I feel like they match really well and they look fun like stacked like that if I can get them to be the right height that's better maybe I'll turn them a little so they look a little bit more realistic this is going to sound kind of lame, but this drink tray is like what I've been looking forward to with this entire pack. I'm so excited. I think it's gorgeous. Let's use the fountain just to say we fucking used it. Perfect. And maybe I could put another one of these big plants over here. I don't know. I'm just trying to like fill up the space. What is this? Poolside. Oh, oh, I got to get my shit together, don't I? Okay, wait. So I didn't realize we had like an actual towel station. That is beautiful and perfect, and I'm obsessed. Hmm. Okay. Slay. Now I think we do like a little outdoorsy sofa moment, maybe? Just like an additional sitting area could be very nice. Or is it overkill? No, I think that's nice. I kind of like that. And we'll get another matching end table, if you will some fun little music to put on it. Oh, just kidding. I'm going to have to side. put it up. Well, I don't know if it's functional, but looks like it is. And then let's get a coffee table. Kind of this one, maybe? I think that's, like, working together. That is working for me. And we'll do some flowers, of course, and then maybe a little bit more greenery if we could. Not really sure what. I guess I haven't used this thing. Mm, I don't know if I like that. I guess I like that. We'll put it on the other side. You already know I need more wall sconces. I am a slut when it comes to the wall sconces. Let's go ahead and put them kind of all over the place. Definitely going to need to put some kind of chess table somewhere. Is it really a Sims house if you don't have chess tables? And then maybe we can use the matching chairs again. I know I've used these chairs like a lot. But I just think it's important to use as much as we can. Maybe we could put like an extra one over here, like a little sitting area. I know your sims don't really sit, but I'm just trying to make the vibes happen. The vibes need to vibe over here. Like that, that looks okay to me. I mean, it's not perfect, but it looks fun and cute. At this point, I'm just trying to fill up all the balconies. I was like, let's have a gazillion balconies. That'll be nice. And now I'm struggling to figure out what the fuck to put on them because this kit... All in all, isn't too big, which isn't a problem, but it is something to consider. It's really not the largest kit. We'll do, like, some planner boxes, because those are important. And then maybe we could do some kind of, some kind of, a uh, bench, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Like, yes, how romantic, a very hard wooden bench. Just going around with a few final details, and I think we are just about, actually, I like just kidding, I lied. We need a trash can. Sometimes I like to do two so we feel fancy. And then I need a mailbox as well. Mail. Perfect. Do like one of these, that's fancy. Very nice, very nice. All right, team, we have finished our build and let's go ahead and do an official tour. There are lots of outdoor spaces, and I think I did an okay job. I want to keep in mind, I'm not the strongest at this particular style, and I was very limited because I like having a lot of packs. I do. I do. So you have this little, like, courtyard area, which I thought was very fun, very true to the style. Lots of beautiful archways from the new pack. Then over here you have another balcony, more Sims skill-building items because we know the, we need these. Then we come into the star of the show. This thing this backyard has like it's overwhelming to look at but it does not have a lot of items in it like skill building wise there are a lot of places to sit though and if this was the like in real life instead of the sims that would be wonderful i absolutely love the loungers and stuff that came with this this little trellis thing quintessential and if i had other packs i would definitely use like debug cottage living or uh university to kind of wrap the house in ivy as well but unfortunately we are limited today no worries though then you have like a little kind of dining area i like this towel cart that's one of my favorite items in the whole game next to the drink tray you guys know how i feel about a drink tray uh, and then you come over here and you have like a, another balcony more garden stuff more skill building 
and then if you come downstairs we have like a covered kind of patio area I would consider this to be somewhat of a sunroom but that's my prerogative then oops that's embarrassing forgot a little bit of paint oopsies then you come in you have this nice little entryway it's nothing special to the right we go for a little bit of a turn with the color scheme it's very blue in here I wanted to get to use some of the other swatches because the swatches on this stuff it's actually very nice very like a lot of options a lot of fun colors then we have our kitchen area and we even have a full bar which is kind of a sleigh I would love to have a house with a bar in it but I also bartend so maybe I wouldn't then you have this little living room space and I actually never use this rug I'm sure I've used it because I've been playing The Sims for a long time but I really like the way the living room ended up coming together it was very limited because this kit is very small and definitely geared towards like an outside kind of vibe but I did like it nonetheless then over here we have what I would consider maybe the primary bedroom which is weird because it's the only bedroom in the entire house that does not have an ensuite but this is definitely more of a vacation rental in my opinion than it would be a family home and that's how I furnished it then we have a downstairs bathroom overall this is a three bedroom four bath house then we have our just little you know hallway area we have a cute little steamboat another hallway bathroom then we have our starving artists room they came to vacay and paint and do all the things I don't know they're never bored at this Airbnb that's for sure and then we have kind of more of like an office slash kids room doubled up area all in all this house can sleep six sims um, and it has skill building items out the wazoo um, and it's it, it came together very nice I'm happy with it as far as my final thoughts on the kits go do I like the kit yeah compared to like a lot of the other ones definitely up more at my alley I am more of a building kit kind of girl because I'm more of a builder than a cast player do I think it's worth five dollars mm, depends on your priorities I don't know if I would spend five dollars on it if I weren't a content creator but I'm also highly practical and I hate spending money I do think it's a nice kit I like the items in it I think they're pretty I do think they're usable However, I don't see this one, this kit in particular, being like the next book nook kit because you guys know that book nook kit has a chokehold on me. Um, I think a lot of the items could be versatile, but again, there's not very many of them. The waterfall feature is really cool though, and I know people who are much more talented than I am when it comes to building are going to do some really dope stuff with that. So I would say mm, yes and no. If you have five dollars that you wouldn't mind like just throwing caution to the wind get yourself a nice kit if you only had money to buy one singular pack or one singular kit I don't think this is the one that I would choose um, so take that with a grain of salt if you love it and this is up your alley good for you I'm happy for you that's a sleigh and we have come to the end of the video so if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you have not already make sure you subscribe to my channel because we will be reviewing the other kit in a couple of days very excited for that and last but not least don't forget to drink your water i'll see you guys next time bye everyone